Hello students, welcome back to our channel Learn with Sahira. Students, in this video, I am going to say you all important questions of principles of management. Degree first semester BBA students have commented to post POM important questions. So this video is for you all children. So I am making this video only for you. So watch this video till end and refer this question so that you can get good marks. Also share this video with your friends so that it will be beneficial and helpful for them also. If you be prepared with these questions children then damn sure you can get good marks in your POM examinations without any doubt. Watch the video till end and listen to me carefully. If you skip the video or if you just move from the video then you will not have the idea. You will not get the complete clarification of POM important questions ma so you listen to me carefully and watch the video completely okay without wasting any time let us get started but before i want to say you all that subscribe our channel learn with sahira and after watching the video if you are having any doubts ma regarding the explanation or important questions or if you are having any doubt you want any clarification you can freely comment down in the comment section i am ready to help you out so as soon as possible i will be uploading the video to clarify your doubts okay so let's get started principles of management in short it is p o m so as usual we will be having two parts ma yes in the p o m also you will have two parts part a and part b in part a you will be having short questions okay in part b you will be having long questions this short questions you have to write at least one and half side if not one and half side one side should be must ma must and should one side okay so for this long questions you have to write at least four sides ma four sides are necessary if not you can write three and half or three sides okay if you want to get passed and uh, want good marks then you can follow this procedure okay so let us get started first we will be discussing the long questions of POM I must say that if you prepare long questions then short questions automatically you can attempt to short questions and good and get good marks in the part A so first give preference to the long questions only after completing the long questions you just once go through the short questions but don't give much time to the short questions because give much time to the long questions they will carry you more marks okay so let us get started uh, i should say you how many marks uh, one part will contain so in first part a you will have 20 marks in part b you will be having 60 marks ma in total pom subject will be for 80 marks okay okay is that clear okay we will discuss about it later first uh, let us discuss the important questions so unit wise i am giving the important questions ma from unit one first question is scientific management explain its principles and evolutions you have to explain about scientific management what is mean by scientific management and you have to write principles he if he asks you principles right evolution if he asks you evolution okay be prepared with principles and evolution second question is what are the three levels of management and its functions how many levels are there ma three levels are there no in management so you have to write that three levels of management in detail and also if he asks you functions you can mention the functions okay then third one is principles of management ma this is really very important question and easy question in the intermediate the people who have uh, studied cec or mec for these students it is very easy answer because they have already studied it in intermediate so you can easily write this question if they ask you okay is that clear okay these are only the three questions from unit one i am giving you ma if you be perfect with these three questions 
then definitely 12 marks will be in your hand each question in the part b will carry you 12 marks ma not 15 marks because in this you are having five units so five questions will be asked from five questions each question will carry you 12 marks by that you will get the 60 marks okay okay so now let us go to the second unit in second unit also i gave you only three questions okay only three questions listen here what do you mean by planning and what are the features and types of planning okay then second one is process of decision making and its type what is mean by decision making what is the process and its types you have to be prepared ma third question is various stages of decision making process with examples here you need to also mention the examples if they ask you ma if they have asked you examples but you didn't mention the examples means marks will be cutted so make sure that you mention the examples okay okay so this is what is from your second unit i'm only giving three questions ma so please be perfect with these three questions if you be perfect with these three questions two questions will be definitely in your question paper okay if you are having more time much time you can also go to the other questions ma but first you be prepared with these questions then go to the other questions my suggestion is that to you from unit 3 ma first question is what do you mean by authority and what is the relationship between authority and responsibility this question also you have already learnt in the intermediate what is authority authority means what ma power to rule power uh, about a specific thing responsibility means when you are having the power you have to res uh, utilize it in the proper manner yes or no you have to enjoy the authority but also you have to be responsible about something yes that is what it will be there in the in question number one you don't buttify or remember the answers ma i must say you that understand the concept then you can easily write and extend your answer okay what is line and staff organization and explain relationship between line and staff organization okay what is line and staff organization explain relationship between line and staff organization what is delegation and centralization of authority this is also important question ma delegation and decentralization sorry it is decentralization of authority okay this is from your unit 3 from unit 4 ma you are having what do you mean by staffing and explain the selection procedure of staffing in unit 4 you will be having the procedure and process ma of staffing training and selection so you be perfect with the selection procedure and uh, process of staffing training selection this is what the questions are given from your unit 4 this is your fourth unit so by these questions also you can get 12 marks easily then last unit you are having is your fifth unit ma fifth unit first question it's what is the role of talent on organization this is on organization in a management what is the role of talent on organization in a management okay what are the different challenges of csr csr is important ma okay this will be asked in the short questions also okay so be perfect with csr what are the different emerging issues are there in management this is also important question ma okay so you just go through these three three questions which i have given you in the unit uh, yes in every unit i have give you only three questions only in unit three you are having one extra question that is span of control okay then four also three questions five also three questions now let us go with the short questions ma these are your short questions span of management scope of management planning decision making contingency plan strategic and programmed decision making delegation of authority line and staff organization span of control csr children if you be perfect with the sorry i should not say children many of the students are commenting why you are calling children i have a habit of calling children to all my students so whenever i'm teaching to my students my real students who come to my classes 
uh, for them also i call children so i have a habit of calling children so no issues i will try to avoid saying children okay students so if you be perfect with the long questions then short questions you can definitely attempt ma okay thank you so much for watching please subscribe my channel learn with sahira also share this video with your friends okay so that it will be beneficial and helpful for them also see you all in the next video bye bye